Welcome back. We're still talking about values in leadership in Nigeria. And uh, Dr. Wesley, I have a question here which will come to you. Someone's asking what precipitated or what led to General Muritala Mohammed deciding to sack those civil servants? Mm -hmm. You'll answer that in a moment. But <laughs> Mr. Adibere, you were talking about, we're looking at the structures, how to go about teaching these bodies. You started from the family. Yes, the family, in, in, the, the DNA of each human being has element of leadership. That's the first thing we need to accept. Because the family Even system... Though not everybody makes a good leader. Yes, not everybody, but the, 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 that DNA is in every human being. At the family level, that's the head of the home, you assess leadership at home. Where you work, your workplace, you assess leadership. Not as managing director, but even the department or unit you head. So it's not looking at Mr. President or looking at the, His Excellency, the governor, mm. as a leader. Everybody is a leader in his or area yeah, of the corner. So, permit, so permit for me. you to get it right, it has to start from home. Permit me, let me just say this, my, my, my children. The first one says, I'm leader number one. The second one says, I'm leader <laughs> number, number one. And the last one says, I'm leader number two. So we thought, I say, so who are you leading? <laughs> <laughs> But he says he's leader number three. That's, that's the reality. In the home, everybody must all accept that we have a role to play in this system. And that's why civic education is good at the very elementary stage. That was what our But they don't teach it in schools yes. anymore. No, they do. That's, oh, they've got, I, I they, think they, they come back to, again. But God. this was part of the challenge we had. Mm. Civic education was the foundation in those days. We are taught that our stealing, duty to yes. country and leader. leader. Yeah. Stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. but the moment family breakdown occur, you find that children, kids don't really appreciate what is good. Like uh, Dr. Wesley alluded at the, at the opening statement, if you still, you find the cock to go back to your village or community. Yeah. Because it's a terrible stigma. The first question that will come is, that, where is he from? Yeah. They yes. mentioned the village or the yes. town. It's a stigma. You find it difficult to go back. Yeah, but these days, they, but get, these days they, get titles. they give you a chieftaincy title. Mm. They work you back home that you have gone to Lagos or Abuja to bring part of the national cake back to us. They celebrate <laughs> this. And young people question the older generation. Why is this so much for buzz over stealing? Every radio, TV, newspaper is stealing, stealing, stealing. What's so big about it? Because they don't really appreciate the challenge it has society. In those days, in our days, you dare not take an ordinary pencil home from school. If you find a pencil lying idle in the classroom or in the football <laughs> field, you give it to the headmaster. You cannot you take, take it home. I'm you, sorry for you. You take it home, you're in trouble. Your mm. mother will beat you, but that take you back to school to, to return yeah. it. What about the, in the, that the, day, the, the, the family, the family, the family head check their kids, they check their children, growth, neighbors, you are, the, the young man is owned by the entire neighborhood. Before you get back home, your parents are already informed of what you did on the way. You have been fighting <laughs> on the road. But if you do that, this is but this, but queried. All Who those disappeared. Parents don't really care hmm. what is in the bag of the children again. The neighbors don't care. The neighbors well. don't care what happened. Now we live in prison cells. Every flat, even a block of four flats, the neighbors the really relate. Yeah. So you don't know what your neighbor even is into. This is how the entire systems. And then when you federalize things, you bring somebody from, let's say, Adamawa to head an institution in Ogun State, for example. If it takes the entire treasure of that institution to Adamawa to go and build industrial or residential estate, nobody in Ogun State will know. And you take a Yoruba man from Badagri to go and head an institution in Ogoja, he can decide to carry the entire fund of that organization <laughs> to Badagri to develop. Yeah. Okay. Nobody really knows. Yeah. Mm. Because there's no commitment, there's no... Uh, so this is, they are, at the family level, this needs to, to happen. At the additional level, both private sector and public sector, it needs to happen. It's the amalgam of all this that take us to the national picture. We we'll start electing governors. And uh, I remember uh, in the... In the Shortly, I think either during the war, shortly after the war, there was a federal minister that was known and reputed in the cabinet to be very upright. Mm. The story was on social media a couple of months back. His colleagues wanted to bring him down. 
And they went to him Christmas time to say, this is a gift from somebody that has done a job of government. This is your share of the money. They put all pressure on him to accept it. He was wondering what type of character has this. He took the money and did a good thing. He put it, he posted it to the National Treasury. When the cabinet reconvened in the new year, allegations were made against him that the man you thought is so fantastic is like every other we Nigerian. Clean. Mm -hmm. And the head of state chairing the meeting was shocked and turned to the minister. Could this story be true? He said it was true. It was a double jeopardy for the head of state. It's true. He said it's true. Then he got up to, to explain. These are the persons who brought this thing to me. That was nothing they didn't do to ensure that I collected it. I didn't want to offend them. I took it, opened this folder. This is the receipt. I paid the money to the account of the federal government of Nigeria. That shows a character that cannot be bribed. We maintain integrity no matter what. In the Western states, I remember also, Mm. Uh, when Gerard Bayer was the governor, that was a big rumpus that... Mr. Adebayo, that is a story that mm. many will say is not true, that that didn't happen in Nigeria. That he but that's, that's, that's that what we are saying. That's what we are saying today. I would have loved to know what happened to those who, uh, who, know, who reported that he stole one, who gave the... Who set him up. Who set him up. That's <laughs> another story. Yeah, yeah. In the so West, nice there was a rumor running around the city that the cabinet members in Western states were offered 30,000 another bribe an insurance company. Pounds or something. And seven members of that cabinet resigned the appointment on bare rumor. It was not established. Mm. It took Fowler to leave the federal Lagos to go back to the West. That trouble cannot start again in the West. Let everybody go back to work. Let the government set up a pro panel to investigate and establish that this story is true. Only one cabinet member couldn't go back because he has said so many things 